guys thanks for visiting my channel today it is another yucky day in Ohio winter just does not want to end and I'm dying for spring but anyway so I had a bunch of beautiful vegetables sitting in my refrigerator and it's so gloomy and yucky and really cold out even though it's the middle of March um, here in Ohio it's just nasty so I thought what I would do to kind of perk things up is uh, make a nice comforting vegetable soup um, I love vegetable soup. I have since I was a little kid and it's perfect for days like today that are blustery and cold outside and um, I have to admit I haven't been eating so well through um, the winter months so I need to get back on track and a nice bowl of vegetable soup is the perfect way to do that. So what I've done, um, I've already started browning some ground beef. now. You can totally leave the meat out of this, but I wanted some protein in my soup, so I'm browning some ground beef. You could also use um, stew meat um, or whatever you like, but I wanted some protein in my soup. So leave it out, use it, pick whatever meat you like, it's fine. So um, what I'm gonna do now is, because it's almost done browning, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add a whole large sweet onion and four cloves of garlic and while that is um, uh, I need meat is finished finishing cooking and the onions are getting nice and tender I'm going to finish chopping up my vegetables Hey guys welcome back my meat is completely browned and the onions and garlic have started to become tender and I have all of my vegetables chopped and I don't know if you could tell how many I was dropping on the floor it was completely by accident but the puppies were very happy about that anyway so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add four cups of homemade chicken stock now you know I keep talking to you guys about this but you have to try it it makes your food so much better and it is so simple you wouldn't believe it so check out my video on making your own chicken stock you don't have to can it if you're not a canner you can totally freeze it and just pop it in your freezer and then you have it anytime you need it and it's just makes your soup so much better as well as many other recipes so we're going to add four cups of chicken stock no and then I'm going to add a can of my homemade stewed tomatoes if you don't can stewed tomatoes just use a can of whatever tomatoes you like it doesn't really matter it's entirely up to you but home canned is so so good especially when it's tomatoes from your very own garden so we're gonna give that a stir And then I'm going to start adding my veggies and hopefully you could see everything that I was chopping up. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to add is, and I used about a cup of all of my veggies each with the exception of the um, cabbage. Cabbage for me is kind of the star of vegetable soup. Um, it just is not the same without it, but you can use whatever combination of vegetables you like or whatever you have on hand, but I highly recommend the cabbage. So um, the first thing I've got here is celery 
And I will tell you that I love to use, when I'm making soups and stews, to use the celery with the leaves on it. Um, the leaves have a ton of flavor in them. Um, most people don't eat them on like a veggie tray. Um, so they're great for using in soups and stews. Then I've got a whole red bell pepper, but you could use whatever kind of pepper you like. Yellow, um, orange. Um, you could use green, but I prefer a sweet pepper. So the red is perfect in this. And then I have a cup of shredded carrot. And then I chopped up one zucchini and one yellow squash. Really, really delicious. So not only is our soup going to be nice and healthy, it's gonna be nice and colorful too. Be really pretty to look at. And then our cabbage. And then the last vegetable I had was about a cup of fresh green beans that I cut in about one inch pieces. So, I am very messy today. Okay, get all that in there and it looks like I'm gonna need some more liquid. Even though as our veggies cook down, they'll produce more liquid, I'm gonna go ahead and add about four cups of water. You could add a potato or potatoes. Um, I'm trying to keep it low, lower carb, so I'm leaving the potato out. But that looks really great. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna do is salt and pepper. I didn't salt and pepper my meat, so I definitely need to add some fresh salt and pepper here. Usually I use the pink Himalayan salt, um, but today I'm just using regular table salt and ground black pepper. And then um, I love to use this. Now I know we used chicken stock. You could totally use beef broth if you prefer, but I love mixing the flavors of both because it makes a more complex flavor in the background of your soup. So I use the chicken stock and then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of this better than bouillon. If you've never used it, it's really great. And um, you can use, there's, there's a vegetable one if you want to do this completely vegetarian. Um, but I'm going to add a tablespoon of the beef. And I've found, like I said, when you combine chicken and beef stock, it's a much more complex flavor in the background. And that's about all I have left in this jar. Really, really delicious. And then the other thing I'm going to add I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. Now I know tomato paste comes in small cans, you can also get it in tubes, but I find that I never use up a whole can when I open a can of it. So I'm sure you're aware of this hack, but I'll t share it with you anyway. What I do is I scoop out what I have left when I use tomato paste into one tablespoon um, servings of it. So I'm going to add about, and then I freeze them, sorry got off track here and then I freeze them so when I'm making other recipes and I need just like a tablespoon or two tablespoons or even three tablespoons of tomato paste I have it on hand in the freezer and ready to go and I don't have to open another can so that's a great hack so we're going to add about three tablespoons of tomato paste just to thicken it up just a little bit and add a little more depth of flavor and the last thing I'm going to add is a third of a bay leaf. Because I use the Spice Islands bay leaves, and I'm, you've heard me talk about this in other, my other videos, these are really potent, and even on the jar it says to just use a third of one. So um, if you're using other brands that aren't as potent, go ahead and feel free to use a whole bay leaf or two, uh, whatever you like, but I only use part of one. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my soup. I'm going to put the lid on. 
and let everything get nice and happy and um, delicious for us. So when we're a little farther along, I'll bring you back. Okay guys, welcome back. I wanted you to see this beautiful pot of vegetable soup I have going on here. They say we eat with our eyes first, and you certainly do with this. Look at all of those gorgeous colors, the reds, the greens, the yellow, really, really beautiful. I'm gonna give this a stir so you can see it's all cooking down. It's been cooking for about an hour, um, simmering on a nice low simmer. Um, I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. I like for my vegetables to be pretty done, especially the cabbage. So we're gonna let this go probably another half hour, 45 minutes, and then we'll be all ready to plate it up. I'll bring you back. Welcome back. Look at this gorgeous bowl of total deliciousness. Hope you can see that, okay? All those beautiful colors, those gorgeous vegetables cooked up wonderfully. Um, and like I said, there's just nothing like putting cabbage in your vegetable soup, so I hope you'll give that a try. You can put any vegetables you want to in this soup. This is really just about a method. Um, using the beef and chicken stock make a huge difference, makes it a much more complex flavor in the background. Really, really good, so I hope you'll give that a try. Um, consider making your own chicken stock. Super simple, um, but it makes your dishes so much better, especially a delicious bowl of soup like this. So comforting on these cold, miserable Ohio days. So tired of this weather. Cannot wait for spring to come. So excited for that. But anyway, I appreciate you coming along with me today. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Um, great for getting back on track if you've been like me and been a little remiss in your eating habits and um, haven't been eating so good. So get back on track so that all those summer clothes uh, will fit again and uh, we'll feel better and be a little healthier. So anyway, thanks for joining me today. Give this recipe a try. If you liked coming along with me today, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I have lots of fun things coming your way and I would not want you to miss out. So hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, thank you for subscribing and joining me for my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have comments or questions, leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you just as soon as I can. And I hope you go out and have a great day. Thanks for joining me and thanks for watching.